Clegg? Yo, Wait. Clegg. Which one of you is Clegg? Who is Clegg? Are you Clegg? <laughs> Careful, buddy! Whoa. I just had the most amazing dream. Don't share. I got a medal from President Kimball himself. <laughs> Wow. That sounds great. Actually, and you know he'd be do a real dick move about it, too, where he'd leave the little dammits out of the back <laughs> yeah. of it and just punch it into your sternum really hard. I'm making fun of him, but when I got promoted to Corporal, I teared up a little bit, so I can't say no. anything. You do that? When you got promoted to Sergeant, did you tear up a little bit? I never got promoted to Sergeant. I was a specialist the whole time. <laughs> well, when you got promoted to Specialist, did you tear up? No, not really, because I was just so dejected about <laughs> life at that point. I was just like, whatever, let's all, just get this over with. All of your hopes and dreams had been crushed. I did tear up a little bit when I got promoted to PFC, but then when I got promoted from PFC <laughs> to uh, Specialist, I was just like, this is just an automatic promotion and I don't care. <laughs> So, oh, your your promotion to uh, specialist was automatic. Promotion from E one to E two to E three and to E four are all automatic. All of your promotions from E one to E four came after time and service, and that's it. Yes. <laughs> yeah, you don't have okay. to work for them. I I understand that. I actually had to work for a corporal. That's not just time and service. Oh yeah, no. A bunch of things got factored in for me. Military proficiency, all the studying I did. I actually had to work for a quarter. If I had gotten promoted to sergeant, I probably would have been relatively pleased about that. But you have to get points to get promoted. To sergeant? Yes, to get promoted to sergeant. At the time, the amount of promotion points you needed was 798. Is that a lot? The maximum is 800. <laughs> Because apparently the army had decided that they had too many 45 Bravo sergeants, okay. and they didn't need any more. <laughs> so they increased the amount of points you had to get in order to get promoted to sergeant. In order for me to get 798 promotion points, I would have had to have taken eight years of college, <laughs> maxed out my PT test, mm -hmm. scored perfectly on rifle qualification, and pistol qualification, and machine gun qualification, and grenade qualification... Also, max out my PT test again. Basically, there was no way for me to get 798 promotion points unless I was in the military for eight years. If you changed your job from that MOS to a different MOS, would the score be lower? You could get to sergeant if you changed your job? Yeah, but then I would have had to go back to a job school. And you loved your job so much. Well and I actually enjoyed doing my job. So basically, they couldn't promote me to sergeant. Yes. They just couldn't because I didn't have enough promotion points. They were like, there's, there's no way we can promote you to sergeant, but we'll promote you to corporal instead. And I was like, no, thank you. I don't want something that is the exact same pay grade <laughs> were, with no respect whatsoever. You were already a specialist, and they were offering to promote you sideways. It's not an upgrade. Yes. It's, just promote it's you not an upgrade at all. I don't get paid anymore, and now I have twice the responsibilities. <laughs> because I'm in charge of a squad of idiots who, because they're pissed off at me because I made them stay late and help me do stuff... They decided not to shave that morning, so I get in trouble. I can't believe you didn't take them up on that offer. Yeah, they tried to promote me several times. They also tried to send me to Warrior Leaders Course, which the Warrior Leaders Course is something else that you could do to get more promotion points. And it's two months. It's like going through basic training again. <laughs> Sounds fun. Yeah, it's two months of living in very small barracks and having to march everywhere and not being able to drive your car and have to go to classes and also go to your normal job because you can't go out of your normal job while you're in Warrior Leaders Course. So they tried like six times to send me to Warrior Leaders Course and I said, no, I'm not going. And they said, well, we're going to give you a counseling if you don't go. And I said, fine, I'll fill it out. So I filled out the counseling and wrote, I'm not going to Warrior Leaders Course. <laughs> I already have to fix an entire battalion's worth of weapons. Do you really want me leaving for two months? And then they sent it to the battalion commander and the battalion commander went, why are you trying to write him up? <laughs> After the fourth time, I didn't fill out the counseling that they told me I had to fill out. And I just didn't go. Didn't go to Warrior Leaders Course. Okay. One of the other people that was in my platoon that went to Warrior Leaders Course, because his promotion points were at 95, he could get his promotion so points for farting. <laughs> <laughs> he went to the Warrior Leaders Course, and they were doing roll, and they were like, Specialist Zach, where the fuck is Specialist Zach? And he's like, he didn't show up. <laughs> They expected you to be there? Yeah, they expected me to be there. <laughs> and I just didn't go. Somebody in my chain of command was like, Zach, why didn't you report to Warrior Leaders Corps? And I was like, because I had a bunch of guns to fix. <laughs> That's always your fallback excuse. That was literally always my fallback because I was the only small arms repairman. 
<laughs> it's like if you got hired to work at a Jiffy Lube, and then everybody that worked at the Jiffy Lube wasn't there anymore, and you're the only person, and they still expect you to go to your other job and work at Jiffy Lube. Well, I guess I'm only working at Jiffy Lube because I'm the only person here. <laughs> So did you end up getting promoted to sergeant? No, I never got promoted to sergeant. <laughs> they had an insult to injury. <laughs> a couple years after I got out of the military, I was teaching small arms repair in Virginia to the military as a civilian. Was that a nicer gig? Oh, it was so much better. <laughs> Show up for work. Didn't have to stay late because somebody screwed up. <laughs> did it make you feel better that you would wake up as a civilian, go to the military, look at all of these military personnel having the life sucked out of them oh ha- man having to sit in a class taught by you and then you would get to leave and go home oh man it was great <laughs> and as a short aside i did tell everyone that came through my class pray to god you don't get sent to fort Polk, louisiana <laughs> yeah, you were warning pray them to god and then <laughs> one week they came back and one of them just had the most dejected look on his face i said <laughs> no. what's wrong and he goes I'm getting sent to fort polk and I was just like, you are never going to re-enlist. And he's like, that's exactly what the sergeant said when he told me that I was getting sent to Fort Polk. <laughs> I love how that's a thing that everybody says. It's the, it's the most horrible place ever. Anyway, I was talking to one of the E4s about, don't worry about doing re- well on your PT test because you're never going to get promoted to sergeant. No. And he was like, yeah, I will. And I was like, no, you won't. Promotion points are like seven ninety eight for that. <laughs> And he was like, no, I'm getting promoted to sergeant as soon as I leave from here, because promotion points are like at 93. Did you think it was in a different job? No, because after I got out of the military, apparently <laughs> no, no, no. all of the small arms repairmen got out of the military because they couldn't get promoted to sergeant. The army went, holy crap, we need E5 small arms repairmen. Reduce the promotion points down to 95 and get them up there. The army is constantly doing this thing where they say, we have too many E5s, make the promotion points maximum. All the E5s get out, and then the army goes, we don't have any E5s, small arms repairmen. Just drop the promotion points down to zero. If one of them farts in formation, (laughs) make him an E5. (laughs) Do you think you could have gotten a sergeant if that were the case? If the promotion points were 98? Oh, easily. Yeah? Yeah. You never considered yourself to be an exemplary soldier, though. No, but at least then I may have gotten some respect from other NCOs when they came down to get their weapons fixed. (laughs) Instead of them looking at me and going, he's a specialist, he doesn't know anything. Then yeah. maybe I would have had some NCOs go, oh, you're also an NCO. I got your back, bro. Let me help you fix these guns. Well, in the Marine Corps, E4s were NCOs too. So if you had joined the Marine Corps, you might have gotten a little more respect too. Yeah, but if I joined the Marine Corps, I would have been a 2111. And? And I would have had to fix SMAs. Marines get cooler stuff. <laughs> I should have went to the Marines. <laughs> yeah, I figure you should join the Marine Corps because you got to go big or go home, right? No, I joined the army because my grandpa was in the army. Well, so was mine, but I'm better than my grandpa. That's just kidding. He was a World War II vet. I respect yeah, him greatly. The greatest generation. Yes. We are way off topic We're here. We're so far off topic now. I don't know where you're going to put that audio. I'll just have that entire long story while we're staring at Corporal Clegg. <laughs> <laughs> Cut all of this out. This is all pointless. It's, Corporal Clegg, I, I wanted to talk to you, maybe learn what your point of view was. But I'm so tired now, I need to go take a nap. We'll be back tomorrow.